Hey all, Jeff from Prefect here. I'm gonna show you how to make event-driven workflows with Prefect. We're gonna create a webhook, and then we're gonna use the event that's, that webhook emits when it's hit, when someone creates an issue on GitHub, and we're gonna fire a deployment then, so we're gonna trigger a deployment from that webhook event. So let's get started. I am going to go to my new repo here in GitHub, and this is just a repository that I made that has a little bit of flow code, but main point right now is that I want to use it to create a webhook. So I am going to click on settings and then go to webhooks here on the left, and then click on add webhook. And I want the content type to be application slash JSON, because I'm gonna take some JSON data here. And I'm gonna put in the payload URL from Prefect when I create the webhook on Prefect. And I want to just get individual events back. So I'm going to make sure that I select issues. Again, I'm just going to be notified when an issue is created and get some information from that issue. And I'm going to turn off pushes. All right, so let's go get that payload URL. So I'm going to go to webhooks here, event webhooks, and click on add webhook. And I'm going to name this gh webhook. And I want to use some dynamic content. I could just have some static information like, hey, this webhook was hit, but I'd actually like to get some information from that payload. So I'm going to delete the kind of example template that's here, and I'm going to put in some that I, something I created by looking at the GitHub documentation on their webhooks and match it into prefix kind of template here. So we're going to get the title from the issue that someone opens and make that the name of our event. And then we are going to have a resource ID here that's going to be prefixed with gh-repo-diskdiver. And then this is that Jinja templating here that we're using to get that issue number. And that'll be part of that unique ID. And then I'm just getting some other information for the number, title, body, and user. And those will all be populated dynamically. But the GitHub repository is just going to be a static value that I'm going to put in. So I'm going to hit create. And I'm going to get a URL. So let's copy that URL. And then I'm going to put that here in my payload URL. All right, and everything looks good. Let's hit add webhook. And just note here that in GitHub, if you want to, you can click on this and see the settings and see the recent deliveries. And it looks like this delivery here failed. So that could be interesting. Let's I can kind of dig into it here. Or we could go over to prefix webhooks, click on the event feed, and then see why this webhook failed. And we can click on the raw tab to get some information. Looks like there was a payload trailing comma not allowed. We got a trailing comma in there, so invalid JSON. Uh, so that's a little issue. So let's go adjust that in our webhook. We're going to click on the three dot menu, click edit webhook, and let's see where that, there's our trailing comma right there, right there. So best practice in Python, not allowed in JSON. We'll hit save. Now let's go back over to GitHub, redeliver. Let's see if that, all right, now it went through. So our little ping worked there. And now it's not a bad idea to test this also by actually creating an issue. Uh, see, I've tested one in the past, but let's test here. And I'm just making a issue to make sure that things will work okay. It came through, test two. All right, so if we click on this and then we click on raw, we get all the details there. We see that this is a test, that body came through, that I'm the user, and then we have a title, number, GitHub repository, all that good stuff. So let's click on the three dot menu here and click on automate. So we can actually make an automation because we actually want to run a deployment when this uh, webhook gets hit. So uh, here we get a trigger. It's kind of auto-populated from the information in that event. And this all looks pretty good, except I just want to change this so it isn't just issue number 38, but any issue that comes in that will fire this uh, deployment. So, uh, and then expect here has, expects the content to be test two. That's not really what we want to match on. And so let's just get rid of that. So we now, this automation will be triggered when an event comes in. But what action do we want to take? We want to run a deployment. Uh, let's choose which deployment to run here. Oh, we should probably go make one. If you already have one, that's great. Just use that. Uh, but let's go actually make one here. So we're going to pull over some code. 
And what we're doing here is just importing flow from prefect. And we're going to log prints for our function that's just going to print out this issue number, issue text, and user login name. Uh, nothing very fancy going on here, but just showing you that we can get some data from the, our, our webhook event and actually use it in our flow. So we're actually going to use that here. And then you could go and do this, how, anything you wanted with this information. Uh, maybe you want to respond to it. Maybe you want to summarize it, put it in a database, whatever. And then let's actually make a make a deployment from this using dot deploy. Uh, we're going to say print issue dot from source. And we could actually make a, a Docker image right now. That would be fine. But I'm just going to grab it from the GitHub repository here. So if anyone else wanted to use this, they could do something very similar. So the source is my GitHub repository here. And the entry point is this uh, flow and uh, flow dot pi and the print issue function. And I'm going to name my deployment gh-issue-deploy. And my work pool I'm going to use, I already have a work pool set up that's just going to be a, a Docker work pool. But you could use any work pool you like or set that up if you need to. All right, hit save there. And then let's run this code to create our deployment. And we are, it says here that we could... Uh, start a worker. I have Docker running, so I'll just fire up this worker. All right, so we have our deployment. Now let's go and use that in our automation. So our deployment we want to run is our print issue deployment. And we need to give it some values here for issue number, issue text, and user login name, because those are the parameters that our print issue function is expecting. So we can do this in by clicking on the JSON tab, and I'm just going to copy paste over some values here. So what we're doing here is taking the issue number, and we're going to set that equal to the event dot resource dot number. Because if I look on my event feed, the resource and the number are what we are using resource dot body for the issue text, and resource dot user is where we're going to get the information for the user login name. So we want to make sure this is valid JSON here. So that's a helpful little reminder. And let's hit the next button and we'll call this run deployment when issue is filed. Kind of a mouthful, but that should do the job. And now I actually have an automation. So let's go and actually create an issue. I'll make a new issue. All right, made a new issue. And I should see that I have an event feed here showing that our automation is scheduled and ready to go. Our automation action has executed. If things are happening here. I can see in our terminal where our worker's running. And I can see that things are running. If I go to my flow runs tab, Work pool doc one. Here's this flow run. I can see that issue number 40 from Disk Diver reads this is a test. Go to other things. And now you can do other things with this information. All right, cool. So, recap here. What have we seen? We made it, took a webhook and we used that webhook to create an event. And that event is used as a trigger to then run a deployment. We could do other things like also send a notification or stop a work pool, pause it, do something like that. Lots of different options for things that we can do with webhooks and event-driven workflows. So check it out and have fun.